Hello and welcome to section 7 – Fixing Anti-Patterns and Practicing Unit Tests. Actually, section 7 is more than that, because except reviewing RxJS anti-patterns, we will also learn more about schedulers that helps to tune event emission timings. Without unit tests, any code quickly becomes legacy, so I will explain how to conveniently write unit tests for observables. I will tell you about multicasting operators that help us to convert cold observable to hot. We can use multicasting for preventing unneeded extra HTTP calls. And also, I will give you some small tips that make observable debugging process a bit easier. Let's start the first video of the section Fixing ArcGIS Anti Patterns to Improve Code Maintainability. The first possible anti pattern is subscription inside subscription. It can happen if you have subsequent observable rapid requests, where data of first request is needed for making second one. In this example, we first request user details for a specific user, and then use this information to get more details about user position. This code works, but I personally find it confusing. It looks like callback hell, but in our XGS world. Can we do better? We can use merge map. Merge map is good for subsequent requests. In example on the slide, we do AJAX request for user data, get user company position, and then return position details to subscribers. No need to subscribe twice. As you can see in this example, we have two observables and they are subscribed with same on next handler function. Not a big deal, but why to manage two subscription if we can manage one? How? Here is a possible solution. Merge function. So now we can use one subscription here to handle emitted values for both observables. To understand next concern, take a look at this example. We generate values from 0 to 9 with range factory function. It can be done with existing operators map and filter. But if you need that functionality quite often in your application, you can compose them in a customer operator and then use it in any place of your program to reduce the amount of code. Next anti pattern is related to Angular framework only. A small prehistory first. In Angular, there are two main ways of using values from observable in component template. First method you can see on the slide. We just subscribe to observable, in our case it is AJAX call in API service, to some component class property. Here it is user data. And then use this property in a template. Pay attention that we used the same value twice, as an input value for child components card header and card body. Another possible way to use value from observable in a template is a standard async pipe from Angular framework. Actually, under the hood it does the same. It subscribes to observable and then insert emitted value as a child component input param. But there is a problem here. Since we use async operator twice, it means that we call API service get user data observable twice. And it will cause two AJAX requests to be done instead of one. How to solve it? Fortunately, there is a small template to handle such situations. We can use ngif operator to create alias for emitted data and then use this alias anywhere in a template. Let's wrap up our lesson. Do not subscribe inside another subscribe method. Use merge map, switch map or concat map instead. If several observables have same subscription handler, join them with RxJS merge function. Create and use custom operators for repetitive operators combinations. If same observable is used many times in a template with Angular async pipe, use ngif trick to handle it properly. Hope now after listening to this lesson, your RxJS code will be clean and easy to read. 